guys so I wanted to do a quick video on getting my morena put in what to expect from a morena and what I really think about my entire experience having morenas in the past and now with getting my second one this is actually my second one that I've had I had one for five years and then I just got another one it's actually called a liletta but a liletta according to my physicians is the same thing as a morena exact same it lasts five years just like the Morena and has the exact same formulation. So the first time getting a Morena was actually really painful, I tell everyone. Probably a, one of the worst experiences of my life because if you haven't had a child before, I guess they're way more excruciating in the pain level, but they actually put in um, something to open your cervix. So they put this pill in there and then they send you home. It is like having a child, I guess, simulating it. And I was on the floor so sick I, never, I didn't necessarily think I was gonna die or anything, but I was throwing up, um, I was on the floor. The pain level was excruciating to me. So when I went in, my cervix had dilated. It just gives you horrible cramps. I went in and she put it in, so you sit just like you're getting a pap smear and they go ahead and insert it in. Kind of feels like a prick on the inside of your body. Is That's the only way to explain it. And my merino is in. I did notice that in the first six months, I had a lot of breakthrough bleeding. So it was about six months of breakthrough bleeding um, as my body was getting used to it. My skin broke out really bad in the first six, three to six months. And what else? I had cramps. Um, pretty much everything you can think of when it comes to a birth control you get because your body's kind of getting used to it. And after six months, it's the best decision I've ever had and ever made. I can't say enough of how much I love that thing and I tell everyone about the first six months of getting that done and how it's horrific but it's so well worth it for four and a half years of not having to think about taking a pill for not having to think about your period too much I had horrible periods pretty much everything you can think of when it came to like experiencing a bad period cramps for a week I had horrible migraines and so my doctors were concerned about me possibly having a stroke with a ton of estrogen like that or I think it's estrogen that causes those. It was horrible. Like, I had a horrible period. My doctor, the first time, gave me spironolactone to control my acne. It's like a high blood pressure medication that you can use as a substitute to clear your skin. And so I stayed on that for like three to six months just to clear my skin up some. But my second time around was way easier as far as for the insertion. Um, I just went in that Friday and he took it out. Went on about my day till Monday, scheduled my appointment, and they had it in on that Monday. So I just went in. I didn't have to, um, he didn't put the stuff to open my cervix this time since I had already had one. And I didn't feel really anything putting it in the second time. It was so much easier. My skin's a little broken out right now, I will say that. Um, but as far as like the side effects, I'm almost at about six months and my period slowed way down. My skin's starting to clear a little bit better now. I don't have as bad of cramps. I had really bad cramps in the beginning. Um, everything is just kind of like toning down, the symptoms do. So everything pretty much is toned down and I really just can't say enough good things about it. I think there's a lot of information out there and a lot of people who are kind of disgruntled a little bit about getting them right in and had a lot of symptoms and side effects, but I've had several friends who've had a lot of success with this, so I can't personally say enough good things about Marina. I absolutely love it, and I got another one because of it, so I'm good for another five years. Hopefully, I'll be ready to have children before my next Marina is over. I'm 28, but if not, then I'll just get another one after that. But I think that they're excellent for people who forget their pills, for people who have headaches, and suffer from migraines. I think they're excellent for people who are just really forgetful pretty much when it comes to your pill and just don't have to think about it. So like this video if you liked this video, subscribe to my channel, ask me any questions about the marina below or any other questions you guys may have. If you have any requests for videos too, I'm happy to do them. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye.